and welcome to this Thimble Bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet stitch. To start, I've already created my foundation chain consisting of six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. We never count the chain that's on your hook. So to start, we're going to skip the first chain and insert our hook into the second chain. This is pretty normal unless you have a pattern that's calling for something different. Then we're going to yarn over, which is basically to bring your yarn over your hook so that it can catch it. Bring through. You have two loops on your hook, so we're going to yarn over again. Pull through both loops so that we have one loop on our hook. And that is a basic single crochet stitch. Let's see that again. We're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through one loop. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through one loop. Let's go ahead and finish out this row and I'll show you how to move on to the next row, which is also pretty simple. All right, now that we're at the end, we're going to make a turning chain, which is yarn over, pull through, and that creates one chain, which is all you need for single crochet. Turn the work. Then we're going to insert our hook into both loops from the previous stitch. That's the difference between working from a foundation chain and working with already made stitches. Foundation chains, you only have one loop to work through, but on already made stitches you have two, the back loop and the front loop. And this is pretty much the norm unless you have a pattern that's calling for something different. Some patterns only want you to work through the back loop or the front loop, but it will be notated in your pattern. So we're inserting the hook through both loops, yarning over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through one loop. Insert hook through both loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through one loop. Insert through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through turning chain, and we're ready for the next one. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about a single crochet stitch. If you do only single crochet stitches, then you're going to end up with a really tight pattern, which is good for any number of things like washcloths or blankets or even pot holders. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel to learn more nifty tricks and techniques or visit our website www.thimblebell.com for more ideas. Thank you so much y'all.